Hello and welcome to episode 22 of our Sunrise Empire campaign. In the last episode, we finally snagged all the islands down here in the south off of Keterata, and we sent a couple of uh, armies over here to take care of them to get them out of the war. And I was getting a little greedy. I was like, oh, maybe, maybe I can get a little farther up and take some money. And then there were like 150,000 guys that appeared from the fog of war. And I said, you know what? But maybe I don't need the money that bad. Maybe we just send them on home. So that's what we're doing. We're sending them on home. We got exactly what we needed from down here. We've got a stack to deal with any possible rebels that may rise up. And today we have another big foe to take on. I think we're going to need to do a war with the command. Uh, I think that's going to be in our best interest. We do need to take a lot of land from them. Now, unfortunately, they are no longer monstrous, so we can't get a free CB on them. And we are quite a ways off from the uh, imperialism. So we're going to have to do this the old fashioned way. Now, I could snag this university right here, and I think I will, despite the fact that I haven't embraced global trade yet. Uh, I think it's important enough to do so. Also, why is this not two years ahead of time, but this is? Oh, because I'm behind. That that will track. Yep, that tracks. Yep, 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 yep. That makes sense. Uh, so we're going to take that, because I need to build some universities for our mission tree. I believe I need two in total, but let's go through them here. A worthy tomb. I need to own Tianlu. We don't own Tianlu yet. We can very soon, though. Very soon. Uh, how close am I to annexing... Yes, yet. We're very close. And then we can go to Tianlu. It's going to be great. Okay. Shining, that's not the mission. High Dawn Academy. So, Heather needs a university. That I can now do. Go ahead and build the university up. Then, I believe it was the Feng Huan Foundation. Yes, Kaffer needs a, a university. Which I can now do. Go ahead and build that there. I believe that's all I need. <laughs> all those for just that. Just those two. I believe that's yeah that's all i needed for now now on our second kind of portion of mission tree here there is a lot that mostly now deals with attacking into the command but there's one mission that i can do to get lots of permanent claims before i do that and that's building up these highlighted provinces with some castles and one of them even needs a regimental camp and a barracks which is going to take a little bit longer uh but i think that is perfectly fine we're going to go ahead and build forts on all of these which is going to be Interesting, because if you look, we're supposed to have forts on every single one of these provinces. We've already got it on Jiazhen? Jiazhong? Oh, actually, I guess we don't need it on these. Oh, well. Well, we're just going to build them up, then we're going to build up some more stuff. It's going to be great. We will need some time to pass by, though, so we will just unpause here. Uh, Give them more local autonomy. And Sarasung? No. I will not be giving any more autonomy in my capital province. It's not going to happen. Uh, yeah, that's just straight up not gonna happen. So we're gonna be crushing them pretty soon. Uh, are we building a work on the command? We are. Wonderful. That's what I wanted to see. And today, you all be very happy to know that I'm going to be building some cavalry. Y'all want it so badly. So badly. So I shall be kind. I shall build some cab up. Really don't want to. We're fine on money. I don't... We think it's worth it, but I shall listen to the people. Okay? I shall listen to the people. Go ahead and hire a level 2 advisor there. Alright, when can I next revoke land? Also, coalition. Did I have a coalition? Oh, I did. I forgot that I had a coalition against me, I won't lie. <laughs> it kind of slipped my own mind there. Uh, it seems that it's starting to fall apart, though. I don't know if that integration would gonna help with that or not. Uh, go ahead and state all of this up. Beautiful. Okay. And let's start building a spy network on Tianlu. That way we can go at them sooner rather than later. Snag hopefully their whole country in one war. 130%. I'm afraid Tianlu is just too big of a province. Yep, that's what's holding us back. So I have to do some weird jumping around, but that's okay. Uh, I think I'm not going to integrate my next vassal yet. I really need to get some monthly increase for my diplomacy as I'm three behind, which means I'm going to start paying for Green Out Corruption, which right now costs us zero. Oh, Centralized State minus one, Sunrise Empire Traditions minus 1.5. Never mind, we're good. Uh, do I want to repay these loans? Probably should. Why did I take so many loans? I'm sure I had a good reason. I'm sure I had a fantastic reason, in fact, to take all those loans. Okay. I'm gonna go there. Go there. 
going to go there. And you are going to go up here. And I also have to kill the Maria. Uh, that is part of our mission tree as well. Of course, they are still in the coalition. The best way to get rid of a coalition is to build some troops. There you go. Don't know if I need 12. I was thinking more like 6. 6 is good, but uh, we can readjust where some of those go in due time, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, you go in here and smack them around. Very good. Now you build another 5. You are going to need another 5, and guess what? I need another 5. There we go. Got the cavalries. Got the cavalries. Cobalt Minister? Uh, sure, we'll keep the cobalt. Why not? You are fine for now. Fine for now. Pretty to speed on fight hit. Old words for someone in uh, war deck range. Just saying. Just saying. And we do, of course, have to wait for this. Because that's the only way that I'm going to get all the claims that I need on the command right now. You can see I don't have... I have one claim that I manually made up here. I do have some claims down south. But, like, if I'm going to be taking a lot of land up here, I kind of need it to be more useful. Won't lie. Won't lie. Uh, what policies do I get for finishing influence, though? Diplo annexation cost. I uh, might as well just finish it then. I mean, we're so close to it, right? We're so close to it. Not the end of the world if I fall a little bit behind. Get new cannons as well. Wonderful. Okay, you are a tiny stack. Need you to go combine with them. That's 1,000 cab, 1,000 cab. I'm going to take half those cab off and send them up here. So there we go. When we bring these stacks together, we'll have 50,000 infantry, 12,000 cavalry, and a bunch of cannons. So should do well against pretty much anybody. Uh, as long as they don't fill up the combat with, that is. Otherwise, the cab will not be as effective, but it'll still be good enough. There we go. Make that claim on Tian Lu. And we're going to have some rebels pop up. Someone else in the comments also brought up a very good point. I need a rebel hunting stack. And I think we're going to dedicate this guy to do it. I'm only going to give him 10,000 cannons. I don't want him to have too many cannons. Put the rest up to this. We're going to sit them in the middle of our empire here. And they are going to just fight rebels. All the time. Everywhere. That way I don't have to keep microing it. So, yeah. You see, like, right here. Like, yeah, technically there's no rebels here right now, but there might be in the future. But they're just gonna... They're gonna cover absolutely everything. Their goal is not to stop rebels, but simply to fight them when they do rise up. If I want to fight them when they, you know, as they rise up, then I need to have a stack there to do that a little bit more manually. But this is just in case when we go to, like, major amounts of overextension and stuff like that. That we are able to keep it all under control. Absolutely wonderful. A lot of clicks. That's all. Just a lot of clicks. That one. Do here as well. Sure. And you know what? You can even go up here. Literally everywhere. Literally everywhere. There we go. You can also help up here. Ah, there we go. Uh, now our truce with Beyond Fang is actually up. Right, they're in a coalition, so I can't do much. As for this, we have, like, super negative. Yeah, super negative. So instead, we're just going to go for the admin efficiency. Sounds good. Also, I should really think about starting the Golden Age. Uh, if I can get five universities up and running, then we will be good to go with that. So let's... We have two, three, four in our capital state. That will help us out tremendously. Tremendously. Uh, now we need to build, what was it up here? I think it's a barracks? I think? Um, let's see here. A regimental camp in a barracks, yeah. Okay, we're going to need both of those, which means we're going to have to do a little bit of development here, which is alright. Got to do it anyway, it's up to five. Might also just delete the temple. I don't know. Oh, uh, we have some particularists rise up. Where at? Are they down here? Of course they are. They're on the island. Okay. Fine. Definitely can't uh, automatically get rid of those. <laughs> Gotta have someone do that manually. That is a-okay. Uh, just waiting. Ooh, Bavari's at war with the command. Is this an offensive war? It is. Yep, they are attacking the command. Not great. I don't really want Bavari to get stronger, but this weakens everyone around us in total, so... Not the worst. It's not the worst. They have some Convocationary Rebels, and they are on the move. 
on the move. Okay. Uh, this is going to be done momentarily. Go ahead and just delete this. It's whatever. Ah, uh, more jackals. Fringe. We hate jackals here. Jackals are the worst. Oh. Hello there. Ivan the Good is now a powerful mage, you say? Did I make him into a general? I did not. Now he has only had a two. Next election is in 1650, though. Uh, what's he good at here? Hold on. He is... Is he just proficient at everything, or did it need a mumptech? Nah, he's just proficient at everything. So he's not really great at anything. Uh, let's just go ahead and study some evocation here. Cost some military points, but that's fine. But we can use some basic siege magic, in case I really want to use it. Wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Intrigues in Sarasong. Lose the Republican tradition, that's fine. Okay, uh, you need a regimental camp. And then we'll be good to go to war with the command. General is dead, that's fine. Go ahead and finish influence ideas. Full, give me that diplo annexation cost. And let's improve relations with you, that way it can actually integrate you. <clears throat> and are you my last vassal? You are my last vassal. Okay, that's something to keep in mind. Probably, oh no you're not, I have this guy up here, we're good. We are good. Go ahead and core all that up. How are people doing with the convocation? Non-human, one bomb. We have underrepresentation, Kalino underrepresentation. We're gonna have to uh, start dealing with that sooner rather than later. And we fired off radical reforms. Nice. We'll just go ahead and fire them both. Uh, do I have an approved relations guy? I do not. I would like to hire one. That way people can get out of my war sooner. You cannot uh, promote. I would like to have a level 2 advisor. So if you could please just give me a level 2 advisor, that'd be great. That would be great. That's two level threes. The one thing about uh, Sunrise Empire that kind of feels wrong in some ways is the fact that not every culture is considered accepted. Like, I have seven acceptance slots, but, like, our whole deal is about accepting people? I don't know. It just kind of sucks. And I, uh, It sucks that I can't have everyone accepted, like, automatically. Or at all. Like, I don't even have the capability to go that high. Uh, no. Improve relations, please. It's very important that I get improved relations. Right, people are leaving the coalition. Come on. There's an approved relation. It's only level one, but that's alright. But we're chilling. We're just chilling, and that's okay. Sometimes you just gotta chill out. That allows me to build up some more stuff. Really valuable manufacturers that I haven't built yet. Someone has entered into a coalition against me? Really? Oh, okay, yeah. Well. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's clear on them. But bring this guy in. Um, anyone up here that I still have a truce with? Yes. 27. Okay, that's our way out, actually. Seems like the coalition isn't going to fall apart on its own, so we're going to have to make it fall apart. And the best way is to go to war with the Anson. That's going to force them out of the coalition. Or it's going to force, uh... It's going to force this guy out. It's going to force Beyond Fang out, which is probably the important part. They have 84,000 troops. So that's what's... That's what really the coalition is kind of centered on. Uh, so we'll send another 48,000 up. They're going to be a, a pain to deal with. You can walk up to the capital. Just to deal with anybody that tries to uh, walk around. Not that anyone would ever do that. Walk around and siege random forts, but that's okay. And we have security against the command. So in order to ensure that the command pushes no further south into the lands of the Shia, we must not fall to the same complacent attitude of poor defense that spelled ruin for the upper Raheni. While the Haramari of Feng Xiaobu have made a valiant effort defending the border thus far, it is time for our architects to move into the region with plans to fortify the pass from Tugayasa all the way to the Demon Hills. Alright, so for 50 years we get some local defensiveness. We do lose some yearly tax income, but we gain permanent claims on a lot of the command. Pretty nice. Okay, yeah, I would say that's I would say that falls under the category of a lot of claims. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That definitely counts. That is very nice. Uh, treasure Fleet reporting. As our nation expands, we have incorporated multiple ports which the famed Treasure Fleets visit. However, we have little need to pay close attention to the rare ongoings. Uh, yeah, I'm only going to have the first event fired. That's fine. 
Give me my money, please. Please, please, please. And we should be safe to accept that now. Nope, took a loan. Dang. Guess I should have just double checked. Oh well. Oh well. Establish. I'm gonna pay the 60 crowns for more development, yes. Go ahead and pay off a loan. Spend the rest of them. Uh, we could take this. Technically, we should, in all honesty. We will. So, unlocks our next idea group. Honestly, I have no idea what it is I want, but I think tolerance is going to be the best option for us. We gotta max out our tolerance of heathens and heretics. I don't see any other way we're gonna survive. At some point in the games, you have to take religious or you have to take tolerance. You can't not take them. It's just too important to reduce the unrest. So, we're gonna go tolerance. Which sucks because that is, of course, an admin group. So we're going to start focusing on admin. I don't know when we're going to stop doing so. Might be a while. Too many liberties? No, there's never too many liberties. Base tax? Uh, sure, I'll build a mage shower somewhere. Yeah, I'll, def I'll definitely do that. Don't worry, AI. I'll definitely build a mage shower. Kind of rata insults us. Kind of rude if you think about it. Considering we just beat them in a war. Kind of rude. Plus, I don't want to go to war with the command when they're getting full occupied like this. That just makes life miserable. Because then you can't take what you need, and then you're, like, stuck there. And then it's, like, all awkward because you only own, like, every other province, so you can't even, like, plan your peace deal out. It's a, the whole thing. You know how it be. You know how it be. I'd rather just avoid that whole situation. And instead, need some better generals. What is our army tradition at? It's so bad. 54, we're just rolling badly. That's what it comes down to. What it just comes down to. Okay. Lock you on. Boost is up in June. Okay. okay, there we go. The coalition's falling apart. But with Yanta, that will it will definitely reform. 100% will reform. So we're going to have to declare on them on the truce timer. Number one most important thing. Bavari, sure, you can have it. I don't care. Okay, there we go. Uh, the Cobalt Rise Beyond Fang. Probably not. Probably just take this one province from them. Yeah, we take this one province. We break their alliance with Tianlu. Because then Tianlu has no allies. We can attack the mid-ward. Make sure they don't get any new ones. And we can take all them out. That's the plan. That's the plan. Alright, the Ensign. We're going to go ahead and do a conquest of... Yen Zong, because that is a valuable province. How much development is that? 39. Yep, that's that counts as valuable, for sure. Okay, you're moving there. You two are fortunately equipped with terrible, terrible generals, but just going to have to deal with it, unfortunately. Also, fort line up here is uh, non-existent in the lands that we just took from our vassal. Uh, this is woods, so let's build a fort here, and this is woods, so we're going to need to build a fort here as well. There we go. Ancient tome located. Go ahead and spend some points to get it. Our boats are dead. Sad, but not unexpected. Not unexpected in the slightest. How many ships do they have? Yep, not touching that. Well, actually, I have ten heavies, don't I? Don't I have ten heavies somewhere? I thought I did. Or Kellen did. Maybe I deleted them. Huh. Okay, well, maybe I deleted them. I don't know. I don't have them now, so no point in thinking that I have them. Alright, keep on moving in. Take Diplotech. Sure. Wonderful. Catch up real fast. Let's move in here. What's my NO at? The 32. Could be better, to be honest with you. Could be better. Okay, Bavari enters into a coalition. They did take... Nothing. Bavari didn't get anything. I don't think. Unless maybe they had a core or something? I don't know. I'm confused what happened here. Somehow the command is this and they're turning it into a core. But they lost this. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Whack. Whatever. All right, I have this additional 48k here. I'll bring you up from the south. Fine. Wow, they went after my poor vassal first. How dare you. 
Very rude. And Precursor Ruins discovered. Oh, down here in the south. In the very south. Oh, I guess that tracks. There's a like a wonder here. Uh, sure. Send them in. Secure the site. Absolutely. Look at that. Precursor Relics. Mm-mm-mm. Those are very valuable. Love to see it. Love to see it. Yo, we even won that fight, surprisingly enough. Now we're going to scorch that. We're going to back off. Come on, take the fort, please. Okay. Well, you move up into Long Dao. Start working on that. You swing out over here into Yansen. Start working on that. Actually, no. Just go right after Fight Tin's capital. It's super easy for me to uh, knock out that way. Can I get these guys back in time? Look at this, dude. Look at this. What is this? What is this? They're not defending their lands. They're fully occupied. Give me this. Break your alliance. With Tianlu. Tianlu. If I would need to break their alliance here, I probably should. Good to make money, but I won't do it. I want a shorter truce. Yanfeng, get out of my war, please. I got the province I needed for more planes. Uh, the Zhuhun Jip Jungle. So I own all Nam Namjet provinces in Yanchen. The replete with silk and largest tea crops in Hales, the Zuhan Jip jungle and its people have been notoriously unconquerable, resisting both attempts of Harimar and Jaher. While the jungle represents great dangers, it must inevitably be conquered on our path to unification. We get a permanent claim on all Genjin provinces in the Yanchen region. Ah, good. Okay, so that gives us a lot of claims here on Tianlu. And I think a couple more claims on these guys as well. And on Fight 10. Fight 10, you are going to get annexed. Sorry, bud. You should have been over 50% war score. That would have saved your life. But you're not. So, uh, hope you enjoy becoming part of my empire. This is not a reflection of the current MP. <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know, uh, we currently have a community MP going on. Uh, that I'm live streaming right now, Saturday. It's 10 a.m. Pacific uh, Daylight Time. Absolutely, you should come and join and watch. Very fun. Uh, I'm playing as... Going to, right here. Little orange guys. And I had a war against uh, Fight 10, where I took Tianlu off of him. And I felt very bad. I felt very bad about it. I've never played multiplayer before, and it's very clear why. Because, like, ah, oh, you know, I have to take this land, like, it's in my mission tree, and it's a very valuable province. But I was like, oh, but I feel bad, like... <laughs> This guy didn't have to do anything to deserve this. I don't know. But what must be done, must be done. And uh, we will take Tianlu once again. But this time it's from the AI, so I don't feel bad about it at all. Test subjects are exposed. Uh, then the difficult points, I guess. That's fine. Okay, you 60k, you move up into here. Dang, that's a lot of forts. <laughs> Luckily, we only need to take out two of them to get over to their capital, but that's a that's a lot of forts. Righteous Path Defectors, I gain cores. I love free cores. Free cores are the best cores. Okay, move in. You move up. Here somewhere, please. Oh, actually, I don't even need this fort, technically. That's fine. We're going to get this. Then we'll siege him down. It won't be a problem. Occupied by Phi-10. What is Phi-10 occupying? What are they doing? What? Okay. Cool. You you do that, I guess. That's your, you know, top priority, then so be it. Uh, we can switch this over to Jungdu as well. That is their core province. Okay, we have won a siege of this. Go ahead and grab Jungdu itself. Uh, I really thought we were going to fight the command today, but I don't think we're going to get there, unfortunately. But what else did I just use down? Not this one right here. That's fine. That's fine. I'll move down south here. We can even split up just to get that done a little bit faster. Just a wee bit. And start on tolerance ideas. Uh, we're going to need the admin, though, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. I need my claims at the very least. Oh my god. They are so much development. They have so much development. Uh, but that's okay. 96%. I don't get this, but this is part of the second mission tree, so it's not the end of the world. Securing this core territory, that's what's important. And how much happened was that? 
221, that's 112 percent overextension. Okay, that's not the end of the world. I can work with that. That is doable. Walk out to their capital. Orcish minister. Uh, let's get a moderate tolerance increase of orcs, please. We'll unseize that. Phyten, hello. Wait, I have a core up here somewhere? Where? Oh, here. Nice. Hey, that's the one that flipped. Okay, they're not willing to be full annexed yet. Not really asking, though. And I know how to get them out. Okay, they're actually sieging that down. Let's force march. This is definitely a big brain play on the AI's part. They abandon their land, and they try and siege down a fort in the south. Oh my god! Why did we move so fast there? What in the world? Look at them. Oh, I know exactly why. The Golden Highway. Who knew? That the Golden Highway was actually decent. Nobody ever told me that. Oh man, there's no one that had said in the comments for me to build the Golden Highway. Golden Highway is so bad. Look at that. I spent all that money and now I fly though. I just need to get a hold of these provinces so I can actually use it to its full capabilities. Oh, you think you're going somewhere, huh? I don't know where you think you're going. But I'm pretty sure the answer is to hell because you're not going to escape. Well, hope your little maneuver was worth it. Um... Yeah, you lost your entire army for that. So I, I guess I'm just gonna carpet siege now. Like, if you're gonna be dumb, AI. I mean, I, I appreciate it, I guess. Could be worse. Go, alright, Fight 10. You should want out now. Yes, you do. Thank you for your donation to the Poemu Land Fund. We really needed it. Start to core it up. And people are entering a coalition. Yeah, coalition is smoalition. Don't really care. That happens to uh, that happens to the best of us, you know. But A becomes just a number, which it just about is. Just about. It's a command looking. Fifty nine thousand troops. Well, I know what I'm. I know what we're doing next time, everyone. <laughs> I know exactly what we're doing next time. Oh shoot! I am the big dumb. I meant to declare war on Tianlu to prevent that from me. Ah dang. Ah, oh, dang. Uh, give me money. I'm gonna take your war reps. They're going to break your alliance with Yensen. These are not options. These are demands that you will comply. You will comply with. I'm about to take your capital. Maybe. If the game ever decides to be kind to me. Let's just say that rebels just occupied something. They did. Oh, I forgot to reset them to, uh... Don't get rid of the rebels. My bad. My bad. I mean, you're too scared. Who's too scared of rebels? You? No, oh, he just needed a general. Uh, a soft answer turneth away wrath. Our faith gives us peace and security, so we have no need to oppress others. Even those in the darkest depths of misguided beliefs can understand how we encourage and respect all who walk upon Halan. Religion in Sertan becomes righteous path. Well, what is it right now? Is it mystical accord? Okay, cool. Conversion, but peacefully. All right, uh, John Tseng, let's go ahead and piece them out here. More reps, cash. Sounds good to me. Go. Is that gonna make the coalition fall apart? Yes, it is. But we're not gonna piece out. We're gonna definitely go for uh, Golden Age now. There's no reason not to. Literally no reason not to. We're not going to take that. Uh, I'm still getting the pop-up here. It's saying that they're too scared to engage armies. Where? Bro, what? Oh, those are Kenarata separate. Oh. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, you come back down into Sarasung, please. You guys going back down to our land. We're gonna let this coalition fall apart. Oh no, they got a siege. Whatever shall we do? Whatever shall we do? <sighs> How many defenders do they have here? Yeah, just... Oh, they actually got this. What? Game, you are on drugs. 
<laughs> you are on drugs, game. Like, I guess. They just out morale me is the thing, but like... Really? I lose 4,000 troops, they lose like 15, and... and <laughs> they're like, ah, actually, I think you lost that battle. Okay, I'm gonna... I don't want to pull you off. You get over here. They're going for... Are they going for my gold mine somehow? Are they like... They are like, mm, yes, they have gold mine. That must be what we need to take out. Ooh, a free stability? I already have max stability. Uh, I would like cheaper annexation costs, please, for my vassal. I need to, I need to annex them. Okay, another person has left the old coalition. Which is nice. You need to go land here, please. Um... Yeah, I just need people to leave the coalition so I can fight Tianlu alone. But it's looking like they're not interested in that. Can't say I blame them entirely. Uh, what I can blame, though, is that these guys are still around. Make a move and try and stack wipe them here. Yeah, they're dead. There's no returning from that one, I'm afraid. No returning from that one. Go really don't want I really don't want to fight all these people for Tian Lu. Oh well. Well, this is what we're going to take. People are not going to be thrilled with it, but they can get over it. Okay, go ahead and core it all up. How's the coalition looking? You know what? I bet you on reload that the current coalition falls apart. And uh, then we can attack Tian Lu alone. So that's what we'll do. We'll just save that for the next episode. We'll go Tianlu, then we'll go into the command and take as much as possible. Uh, we are going to be pretty much a constant war now for a long, long time in order to secure the uh, the peace and unity of Halesh that we will forcefully bring upon them. Plus, we do now have a powerful mage. And uh, if we can get a couple of good events of increasing his military skill, well, oh, okay, we're not reelecting. I was going to say we might re-elect, but, uh, yeah, our country would die if I did that. So, no re-elections, but we should probably just turn into a war wizard right now and, um, make the, the most of him. In fact, you know what? That's what we'll end off. We'll end it off with him becoming a supreme convocationary, a war wizard. What's he got? He has... 7 shock, 3 siege. You know what? Not bad. Plus, if he dies, I'm not that sad, because I don't really like him. He's only a 2-6-2. Uh, that is going to do it for today. I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.